Hey guys, so yesterday's video, if it was yesterday, depending on how I decide to post this, the flea market video was a hair too long. So I've broken it up into two and I have more to share you guys. I have more. Like I got stuff from the dirt floor guy. I gotta learn his name because that probably doesn't sound very nice. But I got some stuff from him and I love it. So I have to share it with you guys. So let's take a look. Okay, so first, don't mind all the paper. That's from me unwrapping and doing two separate videos. And yeah, we're sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, this is actually from a couple flea markets ago. And I forgot to share this with you guys. But I got this entire bin of these late 1800s porcelain caster wheels. Got the whole thing. I think I paid ugh, this bag. $10 for the entire lot, which I think is a good deal, but he probably got the lot for like a dollar at an auction, but that's just the name of the game, you know, but these are so cool. Oh, not with that bug thing on it. I'll definitely have to wash them, but they're cool. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. This is probably my favorite thing from him. So I got these bags of photos. Now, when you see these prices, he didn't charge me these prices. Um, I got these bags of photos and they're actually the negatives, like glass negatives, and someone had them printed out. So they were printed out. So I got quite a few of those and then in here, don't pay attention to this ugly floor. It's going to be replaced. It's going to be, well, it wouldn't be ugly if it wasn't damaged, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> so there's this guy. Some girl probably held this so close to her heart. And then, oh, the tin types. You guys, ah, oh, I love them. Look at these people. I wonder who were they? What did they do? I bet she could bake bread like nobody's business. And she probably taught her. And then we have this one with all these fellas. And this guy here looks like he's maybe, I don't know, 14, 15. And this Henri looking guy. These are great for Halloween. I mean, I'd put them up all the time, but a lot of people like these for Halloween decor. Here's another one of the glass, but they turned it, you know, they got it printed. And another one, hold on, of these ladies. I would give you a better background, like of my pretty gray carpet, but that area is kind of full. These ladies with their kiddos. And then, you can see that right there. How neat is that? I'll have to, oops. How neat is that, huh? Like I said, don't pay attention to the paper. <laughs> and then we have this one. I love to look in the background out of everything. Like, look at the wire that goes from the window all the way over there to this old phone. And they're all looking to the side. Except Mamaw right there. She looks like she's about to pass out. All right, let's get into it. So, he actually gave me this for free. He said, you can have this which is great because I have a few in my collection. I love these and I think it's really cool that it's stamped 13 in there. So these are insulator. Um, they would have been on the sides of like railroads on the poles and you would have had wire wrapped around the top and it went to the next pole. And they these very first came out when they were doing um, like telegraph. So those are really cool. Then I picked up, you know, I've never had an I Love Lucy mug and I've found two since I've been here. And I didn't even keep them and I've always wanted one and I didn't keep them. 
But anyways, there's that one. Those are my girls right there. And then we have, oh my gosh, this is, it's crane and brush, I think, crane, the pattern. This one is between, and it's the marigold pattern. This um, pattern was between, I think, 1904 and 1913. So this is really cool. I love this. Love that. And then we found some um, Amberina Moon and Stars sugar there was no creamer but that can be whatever you want it to be as I say all the time then we have I don't think this is antique hey you can see me in there uh pr probably just more vintage it's an old like weight um like a fishing net weight and it's an amber color like a smoky amber color or if you're like me you can use these for Halloween and make them look like crystal balls and then we got this really cool Colgate and Co. Um, it's a soap crate. So they opened it upside down when it originally was opened. And then originally these usually have, you know, it's all like one piece of wood and it broke over time and they like nailed it back together and it's missing a piece, but I think it's awesome. So I got that. back is hurting. Urgh. I have to put these pictures back in the thing. All right, then I found this really cool kazoo. What is it marked? Oh, it was marked right here. Kazoo Co. Inc. Eden, New York. Then we, I found a couple more pieces of like an amberina little, I don't know, whatever you want it to be. You can have candy corn in it if you want to. And then I got this one. I just love the little change in color, you know? It's really neat. Mm, there. And then we found a, I don't know, it's not a goblet, because I don't think they would make a drinking glass like that. It would be a flat rim. Well, that had sand everywhere. So, I don't know. But it's Ellie Smith Moon and Stars with the scalloped edge. But I guess you could drink out of it if you want to. You could, again, use it for anything you want to use it for. <laughs> and here's a Fenton. I was at Daisy Buttons, Daisy and Buttons pattern. Um, really cool. Little rose bowl. here you have this guy thrown on the ground this little yadro duck and this guy i want to say he charged two dollars i don't remember like ooh, none of them did i paid normal price for and aaron and i thought this little spigot was cool so i think we're going to change out our water spigot outside the front of our house and then i got this this is heavy this is a cobbler's like shoe form oh my gosh that's so heavy it's like cast iron these don't go for too much unless you have them in a like a lot and um i don't know i think maybe in a lot sells better because if they're heavy so you think they get more bang for their buck you know what i mean but it's a cool de decor piece then we found this silver crest Fenton piece. Did not pay $14 for that. And I have a couple more items left. This was awesome. Look at this. Look at those colors. Oh, I love it. I love it. So all that was like sitting there on the floor in the dirt, like literally. And then I found this cool little carved wooden box with the, I think that's a little ship trying to peek out of like some mountains or something. It's just a little wooden box that needs to be cleaned up a smidge. And then the last thing I have, he actually gave me for free was this stained glass church. Um, some of the, oh gosh, I don't have anywhere to sit anything. Oh, 
me move my legs. I'm getting so old. Here we go. So some of the, this is like coming C separated. Oh, I just broke it for good. I was going to say, as I was demonstrating for you that it was breaking, <laughs> that I might be able to put some E6000 and fix that. I probably still could and make sure it like clamped back together because E6000, you can do metal and glass. So I'll probably fix that. And on the back has a little hole where you can put a light kit. So we'll probably keep that because Aaron likes it. So anyways, this is from a different video if you want to check out this stuff. This is everything I got from the dirt floor guy <laughs> that I need to find out his name over at the flea market. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little wonky, paper everywhere, my back hurting, I'm getting old, what can I say? Um, don't forget to go over to Instagram and make sure you follow me over there because I usually you can get some sneak peeks and I post some things there before they make it to YouTube. Um, I mean, they eventually make it to YouTube, but you'll get sneak, like way in advance sneak peeks. Um, and then I am currently working on a couple of shirts um, for my, if you click in any of the videos, you'll see the Teespring banner down below. You can see the little t-shirts down there. I have one that's available, but I haven't really announced it until I um, create the other couple that I'm working on, like until those go live. So be sure to go check that out. There's some fun t-shirts in the, in the shop there. And don't forget to ring that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this one. Let me know down below in the comment section what was your favorite item from this haul video, from this flea market haul, and what might you have left behind. I'm very curious about that. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!